Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Mati with Is by Mr. Kamotho. And in this video I want us to explain example 8 of handling data 5. And we are being told that um, a fruit basket contains two oranges and two apples. A fruit is selected at random and not replaced. There's a keyword there to underline. Uh, not replaced before another is randomly selected. Calculate the probability of choosing at least one apple. At least one apple. At least one apple. There is another set of keywords, at least one apple. What we need to do here is let us not lack an apple in our collection we must get at least one up. One is okay, and both of them being apples, we are still okay. I don't know, we are going to talk about uh, the probability of picking an orange and the probability of picking an apple. We have two oranges, two out of a total of uh, three apples, two out of five, because we have a total of five fruits, and apples are three, that is the first picking. We can call this one the first picking. The first picking. We can have the second picking. This time we can have an orange or again an apple again. If we picked an apple, oranges are not, because we are not replacing, oranges are not interfered with. We still have two oranges, but the total is actually interfered with. Instead of having all the five, now we are having the four because we are not replacing. Apples, we picked one. Now we are having two out of the total four. And that is it. If you look at this plus this is always one. This is a half. This is a half. Half plus half is one. We can pick an orange or we can pick an apple also. Orange is one out of four here because one orange is already out. But apples are still three but out of four because one in total is out. Answering the question now, what is the probability of choosing at least one apple? What are the results here? This is orange, orange. We don't want that. This is orange, apple, this root. That is okay. It is acceptable. This is apple, orange. This is acceptable because we have an apple. And this is apple, apple, which is also acceptable. So the probability of picking at least one, one apple, that is okay, that is okay, and that is okay. So we could have one this root, or this root, or this root. The way we know, uh, the probability of getting at least, at least one apple, at least one apple, is this root, which is orange apple, or apple orange or apple apple orange apple orange uh, or rather apple orange or apple apple so what is this two out of five times three out of four that is orange apple plus apple orange three out of five times two out of four or apple apple three out of five another apple two out of two out of four and that is it adding all this together we are having six out of twenty plus six out of twenty plus six out of twenty which is basically eighteen out of twenty and in simplified form, we can have 9 out of 10. That is the probability of picking at least one apple. Alternatively, 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 the probability of picking at least one apple, the only thing we don't want is both oranges. Both oranges. So we can have 1 minus the probability of picking an orange and another orange. That means, that gives us 
one minus the probability of picking an orange which is two out of five followed by another orange one out of four and you add the two this is still one minus what is this two out of 20 which is basically 18 out of 20 and in simplified fraction this is 9 out of 10 either way we are good to go that is how we can answer that question thank you and let us meet in the next video